Structural floor timbers brace the lower part of the planking to the keel. Traditionally, they've been made from curved timber, crooks or knees. I had a few larger knees in tallow wood and a few smaller ones in tea tree. You select your knees for the grain following the curve that you require. Knees normally come cut out with a chainsaw, so they need truing up with a power plane and eventually hand planes. pattern is used to mark out the shape. The knee is then planed to the lines and then fitted to the hull for a trial fit. Once you're getting fairly close, a bit of blue chalk rubbed onto the back landing of the uh, keel and planking allows you to rub the knee against it, which highlights the high spots and then you whittle those off until you get a dead fit. I didn't have enough natural knees so I had to laminate quite a few of them. Each of the laminated ones has a series of laminates against the hull, a series of laminates across the top and a filler block in the middle. I steam bent all of the laminates to help them take the curve, then left them for a while to dry, aided by a heat gun, I scratched up the surface with 40 grit paper to really give the glue something to hang on to and then started to apply epoxy thickened with microfibers. You apply the epoxy to both sides of each laminate. The whole assembly is then bent around the same jig that I used to steam bend them. Still needs just a little bit of extra pull to get it in with the clamps. Make sure you use enough clamps to get good glue squeeze out all the way along. The hull laminates are also steamed and then when dry and ready they are glued in using clamps and screws and various other means to hold it in place. The laminates are all made over width so that there's a good margin when you need to clean it up with a power plane. The filler blocks are made up from big chunks of hardwood. The long bolts required generally have to be made up, so in this case I'm using silicon bronze with a thread cut on each end. This is the aftermost floor going in. It doesn't have a keel bolt, it has two drift bolts into the deadwood.
square cut copper nails are then hammered in, one for each plank. Every copper nail has to be roved over, cut off and peened over. Looks like I forgot to insulate the camera from the vibration. So after about 200 hours of work, all of the floors are in and I can now get on with fitting the stringers which will be fitted into the notches that you can see on the end of each of these floors. After that I'll get back into planking. <laughs>